slowly moving platforms would be ideal for the red coin star. But I don't know when a good time for that would be. Let's try 7.30. That seems like a chilled, relaxed, slowed down time. <sighs> Just 10 more stars after this. One more level and then a couple more secret stars. And we're done. You get a star for meeting Bowser at the end, but I think that's like a grand giant star, which doesn't count. And 7.32. Stop time for red coins. So the game actually encourages you to stop time. Hmm. Seems like that would make it more difficult. Wait, where are the platforms? I can't do this without the platforms. Oh, nice. And I have stopped time. I'll follow your advice, game, and end this level rather smoothly. Yeah, this is way easier. <laughs> Feels almost too easy, actually. But oh well, I'm not gonna complain. I'll take an easy end to this rather difficult level. If I can climb successfully which seems doubtful. Come on, no need to make this more complicated than it needs to be. Grab the freaking edge, Mario. Why do you insist on lingering in this clock level longer than needed? I didn't want to change the camera, okay. There you go, that's the way. Yeah, now you got it. Back in the groove of things. Wonder if a backflip will do. Yeah, it will. It will do nicely. Hmm? There's no spinning star thing? That's weird. It spawns way the hell above it. I don't really see how that's necessary, but oh well. Sure, one final obstacle to get past before we can put this level behind us. I will just simply backflip my way to it then. If that's how you want to be, slippery platforms with ungrabbable wedges. Oh. I will attempt number two with the backflip of victory plan. So far, so good. No crawling. No crawling is involved in this plan, Mario. And done. For this level, at least. I guess that's not much of a reason to celebrate. But I am going to stop recording for a second because I don't want to lose this footage and have to redo that. I say no thank you to all parts of that. But I did go out and buy new discs to record on, so hopefully I won't run across any more errors unless it's a problem with the unless it's a problem with the DVD recorder itself. But anyway, I shall return in a few. I know it's been a long and tough journey, Mario, but wake up. It's not over yet. There you go, up and at him. Because now it's time for the final ten stars. And on to the final world. Pretty sure it's called Rainbow Ride, but we'll see. Yep, Rainbow Ride. Cruiser crossing the rainbow. This is an interesting level. As you can see, there are endless opportunities to fall and die pretty much everywhere. Normally you can start the level like that, but I've always done it like this. Hey, there's a star. Well, since you present yourself to me like that, I feel inclined to capture you. So away we go. Eh. Yeah. 
See, this is a nice, solid camera angle. Your work is finally improving, camera guy. Oh god, old school falling platforms. At least they fall slowly. I don't think the 100 coin star is too terrible on this level. I think the one in the clock level is going to be the worst by far. Hmm. You have to be pretty speedy for this. Oh, screwed it up again. Might as well just start over. Yeah. Here we go. And then there were nine. Tricky triangles. I hate geometry. Especially when it's all tricky. Same plan as last time. And I think that would be the cruiser we're looking for. But as to how we get onto it, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe this rug can help. These rugs are what makes this level rather difficult. At least from what I remember. Pretty sure they disappear if you leave them for more than a few seconds. And there are a whole bunch of tricky jumps that involve jumping off of this thing and getting back onto it. Pretty sure the left side leads to the cruiser. Guess we'll go ahead and take care of that one. Lakitu, I don't need you, okay? This level's difficult enough. Oh god, blue fire. That's all kinds of dangerous. I just want to get on the boat. Almost got crushed there, but it was worth it. Hopefully this is clear of that. Nope, it's not. Okay. Now we are in the clear. Star, I've come to rescue you from your pretty awesome flying pirate ship. Oh, that was a weird angle to jump at, but... Thankfully it worked out alright. One up thinks it's playing Titanic on the end of the ship. And we will not bother it. It can do as it pleases for all I care. I will defeat this wind. I will make this wind bleed. It will not stop me from getting this star. Yeah. Alright, off to a good start, all things considered. Wouldn't mind having some more lives, but, you know. The big house in the sky. Going to heaven, huh? So, I'm just destined to die to get this star. There's another one. <sighs> Fine. You can't just show yourself to me like that and not expect me to go run out and get you. Remember the red coin star here being rather neat, or at least unique. Once again, they are all clumped together in the same general area. But it's like in a maze, if I remember right. We'll see soon enough. Quickly, shoot your flame. Ah, damn it. 
You guys respawn, that'd be cool. But I don't think you do. I'm gonna have to long jump it. Yeah! No problem. Goomba, you are way lost, aren't you? Eh, pretty simple. I'm on to you, fire spewing thing. But now you've missed your opportunity. Here we go. Well, cruising right along. Seven more stars and we can call this a day. Yep, the big house in the sky, the red coins, and some other one. Pretty sure the big house in the sky star is the tricky one I was talking about earlier. With all of the carpet shenanigans. But the red coin star is rather tempting, and it's just right over here. I also remember this area being rather important for the hundred coins as there is a blue coin switch here. Making me bust out tricky wall jumps like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of wall jumping. Let's see if I can screw this up. Yep. Spectacularly. And then there's a whole bunch of them lined up up here. But as you can see, I was too slow. Too inept at jumping. 